Hey guys, and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness here on Patreon. Well, you and I accomplish a lot of really, really brutal workouts every week, and sometimes it's a good idea to do a recovery workout. I will probably say a hundred times throughout this workout that every workout you do doesn't have to be the hardest workout you've ever done. So that's kind of what today is all about, giving your body a little bit of a chance to recover, uh, maybe from sore muscles so that delayed onset muscle soreness doesn't set in quite so hard, um, to give your body a chance to recover from illness or a bad night's sleep, whatever you are recovering from. For me, it's always a rough night of sleep, so this one is going to help me recover from that. But whatever you're recovering from today, I want you to really focus on the quality of your emotions for this workout and just trying to work through and give your muscles what they need. Now, this routine is yoga inspired, but don't let that scare you um, because as I always say, I look a lot more like Yogi Bear than a regular yogi when I do yoga routines. So we're gonna focus on the quality of position, but we're not gonna focus on perfection. We're just trying to get the heart rate up a little bit to dynamically stretch our muscles and to have a good time. So what you'll need for this workout is just your amazing body, you will need your exercise mat. You will need your can-do attitude, and that is it. So I will see you back here for the warm-up and this yoga-inspired HIIT workout. All right, guys, let's get this recovery workout started with a good warm-up. All right, we're just going to start with some very gentle step, reaches, and pulls. We're going to step, reach, pull back, okay? Very shallow range of motion at first. Get that balance warmed up. Pull those arms back. You could also take them up here if that feels good. If your balance is ready for that. Really squeeze the muscles at the back when you're doing this. So whatever you're recovering from today, maybe it was a really brutal workout. Maybe you're just recovering from illness and getting back into exercise. Maybe you're recovering from a not so good night or week or month <laughs> or 10 years of sleep like me. <laughs> whatever the case may be today, hopefully this recovery workout will help you Get on your way to feeling 100%. One more. All right. Now we're going to do a little bit of a walkout mobility sequence. So we're going to start with those arms up. We're going to walk down into plank. Take the leg up and out to the side. Take the arm up and down. A little glute bridge. Not glute bridge. Glute raise. Other side, same thing. Take that hip, open it up, open up the chest in the back, take it back, raise that glute, take it down. Second verse, same as the first. Really push into those positions without overdoing it to dynamically stretch each part that we're focusing on here. One more on the other side. All right, shake it out. Now we're gonna do a forward lunge with a hip circle at the top, okay? You can take those arms up in that lunge and then circle that hip whatever you want to do
you don't have to take these super deep at first, especially if you're sore, you could take a nice shallow lunge. All right, let's just end these last few seconds with a squat and sweeping rainbow arms. Now, as with any yoga or yoga inspired workout, don't push any position, do what you can, gradually ease into that range of motion and have fun. Don't be hard on yourself. All right. Your warm up is finished. Let's get right into that workout. All right, guys, it's workout time. We have one set of 15 exercises that we're going to go through twice. It will be 50 second intervals with a 10 second rest each interval, and it will be hopefully a lot of fun. We are going to start out with some switch foot mountain crescents. So we're just doing some variations or some plays on yoga poses with a little hit incorporated in between. So have fun with this. Don't worry about perfection here. So we're going to start with a switch foot mountain climber come up to a crescent pose, okay? Crescent lunge. Really squeeze the back. If this is too much, you can always just step it up. Here. Really tighten that core for balance. Really reach through and open up those shoulders. Feeling a quad burn here? <laughs> Good job. All right, your next move is going to be a yoga squat. You can add a little deadlift variation here if you wanna kind of open up those hamstrings. So. We're gonna go feet out nice and wide, low as you can comfortably with proper form. Come up. You can add that deadlift at the top if you're feeling good there. Push into those heels. You can also kind of drive those elbows into your knee there to get an even better hip opener. When you come down, you can hold it there. Do what feels good today. Whatever variation of the move that your sore or tired body can complete. All right, now we're gonna do a plank hop into a wild thing next. So you're going to Plank hop, then you're going to take one leg back and come up. Drive those hips up. Step it back, drive the hips up. Step it back, drive the hips up. Now, because we're moving a lot, you might not get the precision of each move, and that's okay. This is yoga inspired. So we're just trying to look for a little more length, a little more balance for each of these moves. Not perfection. Okay, crescent lunges. Our next, I may have to move my mat for this. We're gonna go here, right here. If your mat is difficult to pivot on, you can do the same thing and move it. I'm gonna move mine so that I can get a little better pivot here. Just watch your knee that you don't bang it. Now you can take the arms up and down, or you can just hold them up. 
whatever feels good. You may have a really sore upper body today. You may have a really sore lower body. All right. So this move is just going to be more about range of motion and opening up. So we're going to do a curtsy. We're going to sweep the arms over to the other side. Okay, sweep and reach. Sweep and reach. Sweep. You get a little bit of a trunk twist here, which becomes a standing ab move. A sneaky one. You can always add a hop here and then sweep. Hop and sweep or sweep and hop at the same time. Reach, reach, reach. Almost there. All right, awesome. Now we're gonna do, just like we did in the warm up, some walkout hip openers. So take it up, take it down. You can take that leg out wide. You can add a push up here if you'd like. Glute raise. Okay, whatever feels good there if you like that. Push up there for a little extra challenge. By all means, keep it in. You can also just walk out and open the arm and the chest. Whatever works for you, depending on the soreness of your body and what needs extra attention. Awesome. On to the next. All right, prayer switch lunges. So we're going to take one elbow to one knee, switch, elbow to knee. Make these as fast or slow as you'd like. Another little sneaky ab move while we're recovering. Again, if you're feeling too sore for that, just take it into a nice back lunge. The important part here is just giving ourselves a nice range of motion in those muscles as we recover so that we don't get too much delayed onset muscle soreness. Now we're gonna come down to the mat again. We're going to walk down into some swimmer push-ups to really take care of those shoulders. So we're going to push up, swim. Push up, swim. I am changing the direction of that rotation of the arm each time. The interesting find on my mat today is a grape stem, which makes me wonder how it got there, but also makes me thankful that my kids are eating healthy things, even if they're leaving half of them on my mat. So it's all good. Awesome. All right. Now we're gonna go into a little bit of a sequence with an up dog, a down dog, and then we're gonna lower into a chaturanga. So walk it down, up dog, down dog, back, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, back into chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, up, lower down, up dog, down dog, chaturanga, up dog, down, lower, and 
and lower. Very good. Awesome work. On to the next. Now we're gonna do a single leg squat to an airplane on the left. So we're gonna come down, come up, airplane. Come down, come up, airplane. Come down. You can lunge it there like I'm doing, or you can truly single leg squat. Squeeze your abs. Very good. All right. We will have that move on the other side. Now we're going to do those sweeping squats. Sweep it. You can even start to twist that torso towards your outside foot. If this isn't challenging enough, you could always add a squat jump before you sweep again. Whatever you want to do. Focus on your breathing here. Open up those lungs. Especially if these aren't difficult moves for you. Really focus on breathing. All right. Now we're gonna do a push up and open up our chest on each side. All right. So push up here, side plank, open. Side plank and open. Open it up. Open it up. Open. Open it up. Focus on length, focus on core stability and control as you switch sides. Five seconds. All right. Now we're going to do a standing split hop on the left. Now, obviously my standing split is not going to have me in a total split, but what we're working on here is driving the knee under, taking it up. You can add a hop when you get to the top. Get as far as you can with good control. You can either stick on one leg or alternate and just do the move twice. 15 seconds, hold that core in. Two. One, very good. <laughs> Get up nice and slowly to that. All right, single leg squat to airplane on your right leg. You will have a leg that works better for this move and one, that's not so good. Okay, so be patient with yourself, be kind to yourself and just do your thing. Okay, you can also take this into just a back lunge. If your position doesn't look the prettiest, oh well, you're doing this for you, not somebody else. And you can always 
make it a goal to be more flexible, more graceful, whatever. All right, we have standing split hops, right leg. So that to me means I'm going to be tucking in my left leg, holding that position on my right. You do whatever one you haven't done. I'm hopping here off my right. You can also just keep it here, okay, without the hop. good all right you have completed one round of this wipe off and we'll start again all right guys you have about 10 seconds before we get into those switch foot mountain crescents two and one all right again you can just do a back lunge here and lift those arms and squeeze your back or you can switch foot mountain climb it Don't worry as much about speed here. Worry about trying to really reach into those positions. You'll find that it's a lot harder that way and that it helps loosen you up better. Longer intervals to give you more time to get into these movements. Really feel good about it. Very good, all right. Yoga squats to a deadlift. Opening up those hips. Here we go. So nice toes out wide. You can hold it here. Come up and deadlift. Sometimes we don't take care of our sore hamstrings enough or don't even know how sore they are. So, here, we're taking care of quads, opening up hips, then adding a little hamstring action to it. It's all about recovery today. Not every workout has to be the hardest thing you've ever done. A lot of times it's good to just practice some of our isometric strength by holding these positions. Awesome. All right, and I'm still sweating pretty good. So plank hop to a wild thing. Okay, again, you could stick to just like a wide plank hop here if you don't like the wild thing. I like to kind of come into the position, push myself up after I step the leg back. This is just a variation. These are not precise positions. Just do your best. I always say, instead of like a proper yogi, I look a bit like Yogi Bear. That's all right. We're still getting it done. Awesome. All right, on to the next, and away we go. All right, we're gonna do those crescent lunges. So, gonna move so I can pivot. Up, up, up. You can take them down, up, down, down, up, down, or you can leave them up. Showing you a very mixed up version of both. <laughs> my focus right now is to not slam my knee into the floor. You focus on that too. Focus on your breathing. 
open up your chest. All right, very good. Now we're gonna do just those alternating curtsy sweeps. All right, so arms up and over, up and over, up, over, hop if you want to and have room. If not, just really kind of focus on hip flexors, on glutes here, slow motions, big movements. You're about halfway through. Hope you're smiling. Hope those sore muscles are easing up a little. Hope you're finding that with this second round, you're getting a bigger, better range of motion. If you're not, no big deal. Probably just means you did a good one or you're recovering from something pretty, pretty bad. Awesome. All right. Now we're gonna walk out and open those hips. I'm gonna add the push up this time instead of the thoracic twist. So you do you, do what you wanna do. Walk it out, take it out. Very good. Pushing into that push up helps you get deeper into those hips, plus helps you get a nice arm challenge as well. If that is not working for you, absolutely don't do it. You could just do a regular push up after you do the hip opener. You can always add that glute lift to the back. Very good. All done with that. Wipe it off. Now we're going to hit those prayer switch lunges next. You can also just stick to a regular back lunge if your balance is off or you just cannot be asked to jump today. I feel ya. I ran a 10K this weekend with my dad. And when you're not used to running on the road a lot, your joints and muscles get super sore. So I definitely felt a little balled up this morning when I came down to do this nice lengthening recovery workout. That's why I say all of these poses are loosely based on yoga, very loosely. All right, swimmer push-ups are next. All right, walk it down. Push up, forward stroke, push up. Focus on that circle. Try to grab something from your pocket on that reverse circle. These feel super awkward. Don't get discouraged. I haven't seen a person yet that looks comfy doing these. Try to keep those hips forward. Look about six inches ahead of you. Try not to shrug those shoulders. All right. Up, down, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. So walk it down. Up dog, down dog. Lower chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, chaturanga.
Awesome. Done with that one for the last time. We're gonna hit those sweeping rainbow squats here. So, sweep, sweep, twisting the trunk when you're comfortable. Nice, big, sweeping motion. Again, you can add that jump before you sweep. Very good. All right, single leg squat to an airplane. Again, you can take the leg back behind to a lunge and then hop into that airplane or you can lower straight down. Airplane. seconds. Doing great. Whoop. Start out bad. Fix it and move on. Absolutely default to that lunge if you need some hip flexor openers, okay? All right. We are going to do the push-ups with a chest opener. So push up side plank, reach. Again, we're not working on quickness here. We're working on holding a nice good position. Seconds left. Doing great. Cruising right through. Awesome. Very, very good. All right. Now, we're going to do that single leg. Nope, we're going to do the standing split hop on the left. So, left leg is stationary and hops. Right leg sweeps. Again, this can stick here. Okay. Very good. All right. I'm sweating bucket loads. I thought I was supposed to be recovering. Just kidding. Awesome work. All right. Single leg squat to an airplane. Again, take it here if you need more hip flexor. Always do what works for you. Last time you have to do this, make it count. <laughs> All 
right. Standing split hops. The right leg is the one that's hopping, okay? Tighten your core, especially if you're hopping. Fifteen to go. Very good. Whew. You guys are all finished with this yoga inspired recovery workout. Take a breather and I'll meet you back here for the cool down. All right, guys, we are ready to further open up those tired and sore muscles with a good cool down. So we're going to go down into our mobility sequence that we have repeated all through this workout, but we're going to do it on one side only. Okay. So we're going to hold it just here. Okay, when you're ready, you can open up that spine. Take it down, little glute raise, take it back up. Now we can hold these positions because now we're wanting to just lengthen those muscles, soften up the joints so that we'll be able to gain more flexibility over time. Key word there, key phrase, over time. Don't force it. All right. One more here. Look up at that thumb. Get a little neck stretch in there as well. Take it back. Now, instead of going all the way back up, we're going to take that left leg in front and we're going to go into a nice pigeon pose. Let's take it down to our forearms if we can. Forehead down if you can. And beyond that, you can lace the right arm through to get a nice upper back stretch. From here, I'm going to reach for those toes. If you can do a quad stretch from this position, if not, just hang out in pigeon and hit those quads when we stand back up. Awesome job. All right, back into plank, walk it back up. We're doing the same thing on the other side. So walk down into plank. Take that leg out wide, open up the chest, look up at that thumb to open up your neck. When we've done really hard workouts and we haven't slept well, when we've been sick, we get a lot of tension in our neck. In our necks, I should say. <laughs> Little glute raise, boop. Take it back up, reach it up. Take it down again. Reach it up. Try to keep your shoulders down and away from your ears. All right, walk it back after you boot raise. Let's do one more here and we'll go down. for that pigeon on the right. Settle into this pose. Feel good about it. You should feel good about what you've done for your body today. And remember, 
Not every workout has to be the hardest one you've ever done. The only bad workout's the one you didn't do. And even that's not bad if you're trying to take some rest or you're injured. You can, again, loop that left arm through here. All right, we're going to take it up. Reach for the toes of that left leg. All right, let's take it right back up into a downward facing dog. And we're gonna walk our hands back for a wide hamstring stretch. And we're going to heel toe, heel toe in. Reach for those toes one more time. Slowly come back up. We're going to loop those shoulders around. And I want you to just take some time to loosen up your neck. All right. We're going to make circles. Okay. I'm taking mine clockwise right now. Let's switch. Other direction. Relax your face. Now gently, ever so gently, guide the head towards the right shoulder using your right hand, keeping the shoulders down, relaxing the neck, feeling it right through here. All right, back to center. Let's take our chin to our chest here. If you're super tight, you might feel that all down your spine. All right, now we're going to take the left hand, guide the neck towards the left. This is a stiffer side for me, I can tell. Just guiding it toward that left shoulder. Awesome work. Now I just want you to extend those arms up high. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, two more here, inhale up, exhale down. Awesome job guys. This was a nice little sneaky burn, but also a really good time to uh, recover those tired, sore, stiff muscles. So. Hope you guys had fun. I'll see you back at the camp. All right, guys, great job tackling your yoga inspired hit workout. I hope you had a lot of fun. Hope your muscles feel a little bit more recovered than they had before we started. And I hope you are just appreciating your amazing body. Now what I need you to do is drink a lot of water after this workout, especially if you're super sore. I cannot emphasize that enough. I need you to get a nice, healthy, post-workout meal in 30 to 90 minutes after this workout. This will help your body to repair and grow even further, okay? Stretch some more if you need to. Um, take care of your amazing body and take a rest day. I know that I sound like a broken record by telling you to, say, to do that, but it is so, so important to give your body what it needs in all of those aspects. Proper nutrition, proper rest, proper hydration. You know the drill. So other than that, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to our channel if you have not yet. Share us with your friends. We would love to help you and your friends and your family crush their goals. Um, there's nothing more amazing than seeing families get healthy together. Um, I know that my amazing parents come to my boot camp class. My children come to my boot camp class. They do it with me, and we have a wonderful time just 
enriching our relationships, but also helping our bodies become as strong and functional as they can be. So I challenge you to get your friends and family nice and healthy alongside you this week. Also check out our four week glute growing program. It is eight exclusive workouts you won't find anywhere else to help you carve and burn out and build the leanest, strongest, most functional glutes you could ever imagine. So if you want access to this challenge or to our nutritional counseling and coaching, please email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com. We promise you will not be sorry. Your glutes might be sorry after those workouts, but you will not be sorry. So other than that, have an amazing day. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to somebody else, especially someone who is difficult to love. I know probably hate when I say that, but you'll never be sorry that you did it. So whether you felt like the most amazingly limber yogi and your soreness is all gone, or whether you looked a little bit like me, a little more like Yogi Bear, and you're still hobbling around a bit, it is your health today and every day, so you better hit it hard. Boom! I will see you guys for the next brutal workout, and I hope you have an awesome day.